Mrs. Calvert? Lieutenant. Ah, uh, you remember Mr. Kingsley? Of course. Yes. Thank you. We ordered coffee. Would you like something else? No, coffee would be fine. I thought it would be better to meet here instead of the precinct class official, if you know what I mean. And that's why I sent Officer Will to meet you at the precinct and bring you over here. He had no trouble finding you. To tell you the truth, Lieutenant, I shouldn't be meeting you anywhere, not without my attorney present and Clifford. I'm aware of that, Miss Calvert, and I appreciate the fact that you're willing to hear me out. Okay, Lieutenant, what's this all about? You're aware of the evidence so far? Yes. Well, I'm going to be frank with you, Miss Calvert. You know, maybe this is something I shouldn't even say. But we have some doubts about your husband's guilt. He may be innocent. I'm sure you're happy to hear that. Yes, yes, that's, that's very good. And we certainly hope it's true. But there is the problem of the missing gun. Any idea what happened to that? None whatsoever. Who else had access to that gun besides yourself, of course? Clifford told you he never locked that drawer. We had a big turnover in domestics in the past year. It could have been one of them. Ah, uh, yes, that's very possible. Uh, one of the help could have easily stolen the gun. But the fact that Howard Seltzer was shot with a 38. Well, it could have been somebody else's 38, not the one that your husband owned. Are those ours? Yes, sir. Thank and you. unless we found your husband's gun, we can't prove that it didn't fire the shot. But if it was your husband's gun, the thing is, Miss Calvert, if your husband didn't do it, then who... Excuse me. I'll be back in a moment. That was strange. It was. You didn't just say something, did you? No, he was talking. Yeah. He was saying. If Clifford didn't do it, then who did? Then he stopped. You didn't react no. in some... I was just listening. I never blinked an eye. Well, then it's nothing. The guy's a little wacky. I've been telling you. Just relax. The lab reports just came in. Cat hair and fibers placed Clifford at the murder scene. The DA indicts, and we're home free. Here he comes. Are you all right, Lieutenant? Uh, not so hot. No? Uh, no, not really. It's, Is there anything uh, we can do? No, it's, uh, it's something funny, something funny here. Huh. Yeah. Would you rather stop? We can continue it. If you don't mind, I would like to call it a day. Sure. Uh, Patrick, could you, uh, uh... Well, get the car. Yes, of course. I'll go find Will and I'll meet you out in front. Okay, excuse me a minute. Barney? Barney? Could I have an Alka-Seltzer? Can somebody take this glass? Who well, hardly touched this?
Ma'am, are you parked at police headquarters? Yes. You know where she's parked, right? Sure do. So we'll go straight to her car. Going in? Uh, I don't think so, Pat. I'm going to uh, get something for this. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, Pat. I'll be fine. I'm All right. feeling better. Well, we'll talk later. But with regard to Mrs. Calvert, I didn't see anything suspicious. Neither did I. Let me ask you something. When you picked up Mrs. Calvert to bring her over to Barney, mm -hmm. where'd she sit? In the passenger seat, right here next to me. You let her in there? No. I'd gotten out, went around the car, opened the back door for her. But she got in the front seat. You were standing by the back door holding it open for her. She saw you. She ignored you. And she got in the front seat. She wanted the front seat. She wanted that front seat. My guess? I say she gets car sick in the back. know each other. They know each other well. Holy jamolies. Wow. Just one more thing.